No BGP information has changed since the last video, but I want to show you this is adjacency we're about to add just to check the whole deal with the weight attribute being advertised or not advertised from one router to another. We're going to add an external adjacency between routers 1 and 5. They're communicating right now over the 10110-24 network, and we're going to put router 5 in an AS of its own. So let's go ahead and bring the live equipment up, and you can see there show IP BGP just to prove that I didn't do anything while you were gone to the route and it still has a weight of 200 still being selected as best and valid and also I just pinged at 10115 just to make sure that we had connectivity so we'll go in here and add that one now and we'll go over to 5 and do the same Router BGP 5 And we'll just wait for that to finish cooking. Shouldn't take long. And then we'll give it a few more seconds to check the BGP table. That's one thing. We're so used to instantaneous results. Sometimes it takes a few extra seconds for that BGP table to be completely ready. But in a smaller one like this, we shouldn't have a problem. The reason I mentioned that in particular is that sometimes you'll run this to, say, a route that you just changed an attribute for and you cleared it and everything and you don't see valid and best yet, give it about 10 seconds and then run it again because sometimes it does take a little extra time. In this case, there was no extra time necessary. We see the route. It is valid and best. There's your next hop of 10.111. And most importantly, the weight is at zero. So we know that router one is not advertising the weight of that route, weight of 200 for this route because that is locally significant only. And now we've seen that in action. So now we're going to wing it a little bit. I want to add a little extra info here for you. And the one thing we need to do, and I'm going to go ahead and do this on camera, is take the weight command off that's changing the weight of that one particular route. And we'll verify that change because I want to set it back to the way we had it. Way back to the way we had it. And that's not what I wanted. And that is. So I'm going to do a clear IPBGP soft in. Remember, if you do a clear like this and you're not getting the results you think you should, check the in and out because um, that does catch you every once in a while. Show IPBGP. And you can see the weight is now set to zero again. That weight statement is gone. And the path selection is back to the path through 123.2. The one thing I did do off camera is add a loopback to router 4. And it's loopback 44. There it is. And it's 44, 444 slash 32. And I'm going to add that to BGP now. And let's go out to router 2. Bet that's already there. Yep, there it is. And you see there's valid and best, the expected next hop. And let's go over to router three. I'm sure we have the exact same thing. There we go, network 44, now next hop at 234.4. Now, will router one at this point have valid and best routes for both networks? It does, and the next top is 123.2 for both of them. And the reason there's a valid and best, even though router one does not have a path to 44444, that next top command that we configured in the previous video, it's still there. We never took it off. There's one on router two, one on router three, and that's going to be in effect for all routes that those two routers send to router one. So, so far, so good, but let's uh let's do a little something extra it's a little dual sabotage i don't know it's not really sabotage but let's call it that anyway what we're going to do is change the weight of the path of the new network network 44 we're going to change that weight to 200 while leaving network 4 alone and leaving any networks that get added in the future alone okay and how we're going to do that we know that all together we're going to do that with a route map and what's the first step in a route map? Not configuring the route map necessarily. The first step is writing an access list. We know that. So let's do an access list. We'll call it access list 44. Permit 44444. Good enough. That's all we need. Now we can start with the route map. And we'll just call it uh, weight 
200, permit 10. And if it matches IP address 44, which we really mean access list, then it is going, we're going to set the weight to 200. And I'm going to go ahead and put another clause here. And I'm just going to leave it empty. So now how do I apply this, apply this route map? And at this point, do I want to apply the route map for routes coming in from routers 2 and 3? Or I, do I just want to apply it to routes coming in from router 3? I just want to apply it to router 3 because if I apply this to both routers 2 and 3, the weight is going to change for network 44 to, from 0 to 200 coming both from routers 2 and 3 and we'll still have the same next hop path selection. And we want to change that. So we get, what command are we going to use to apply this route map? Because if we put route map right here, it's going to give you unrecognized command. You got to do it with the neighbor command, right? 172.12.123.3. Now you can put your route map, and we called it weight 200. And of course, you've got to say in or out. We're going to say in. And we do a soft reset inbound. And the moment of truth, and we see that we're for network 44, the valid and best. All right, try that again. The valid and best has the next hop of 123.3 because the weight was successfully changed to 200. But for 4444, network 4, excuse me, valid and best is still going through dot 2 because that weight didn't change, so nothing changed for that particular path, only for 44. So just like some other BGP attributes we've seen here, we can change the weight for all routes coming in from a particular neighbor, or we can use a route map in an ACL and change it only for certain paths. That is enough waiting in for right now. We are headed forward into some route aggregation. I'm going to talk about a couple of attributes there. We're going to do some actual route summarization. So you want to grab something to write well, because one thing we're going to do is take route aggregation and make sure it doesn't become aggravation. I will see you on the next video. We'll get started with that.